In this tutorial, I will show you the approach of creating a master library in ClickSense. ClickSense has a unique concept to generalize or to globalize the dimensions and measures. So here we will create the different type of dimensions in ClickSense. Let's see. We have fields. This shows the list of the fields respective to all the tables. Okay. This fields in a raw format will not solve our purpose or needs. This fields here, like, uh, you know, it, it has a nomenclature of its table name, like cst.state. So this is not a user defined or a user friendly fields. And whenever I would like to add this field to a particular uh, chart, in that case, every time I have to change its name. So what I have to do, I have to create a master item. So in ClickSense, so this is a new feature in ClickSense, I would say this was not present in the ClickView platform. That is a master library. So in the master library, we would have the master items. What type of master items uh, you can create? Dimension master, measure master, visualizations and alternate states. I will go through each master items one by one. So today we will be covering how to create the dimensions and measures. Okay, so now what is the purpose of creating master that's a basic question why are we creating the masters what is a master master is something which can be created once and reusable multiple times okay so you need not to spend a lot of repetitive effort every time rather you give one time effect uh, effort and that effort will be reutilized or reusable, reused at many times. So, which will save a lot of your development effort while you are creating multiple time dimensions or measures. Okay, that's why the usage of the master is come into picture. So, it's like a die when you create the die and you are creating the miniatures many time from that time so here i would create all the necessary dimensions which i uh, you know assume that i should be using it multiple times so let us start with the tables so when i'll create a new dimension i do have two options to create you can use a single dimension or you can create a drill down dimension. Single dimension is something you can create a single dimensional chart. That means whatever you see, you see that like country means country is this. But drill down means you would have a multi dimensional analysis over here. In a chart, you would have multiple dimensions like say country, then when you select a country, it will show you. Uh, divisions when you select divisions then it will show you states inside the states you will have city and then zip codes then address then customer then order so that level of hierarchy you can create by using this drill down chart all right so now from the customers we will start say customer table and first we will create a single dimension chart uh, single dimension uh, values here so one is a country when i select it it just saying create city now here we have a provision to set one database field and set a separate name for it so database field cannot be changeable it should be as it is in the data model but the field which you need to display to customer or clients or end users that can be changed so as per your requirement 
so as per the user friendliness so name is city contact person it's a contact person contact person name is contact and then person then i will have here contact space person okay this for the more readable concept customer so its name is assisted uh, customer i'll simply make it as customer now what are the features over here like this is a name and this is description and tag now what is this tag is all about tag is something like a pet name suppose in google you are searching uh, top it companies in india so you would get various companies like tcs infosys uh, you know microsoft whatever it is so these companies have shared some tags in their website whenever you search according to that tag the website will be populated same way here we have the tags so you can give any other name and you can search from any other name that's also possible suppose c cst I, i will search i'll get customer this is one tag great division div state and it's not mandatory customer id this will be a major so i'll not put it here as a dimension so what are the things i want that it should be grouped by major that should be created as a dimension address i don't want to be grouped because address is very granular information postal code is also okay so likewise i've got uh, all the details from the customer table let us first create a single dimensions then we will think of a creating a drill down dimension in the next sessions the employee employee uh, this is employee that means employee name employee name and whenever i am searching emp it will show you emp expenditure expense salary i can just search salary so tag is like that whenever i'll have hundreds of dimension i would be dif uh, you know facing difficulties to select all those fields appropriate fields so in that case tag will help me out to find those higher date let's say i not is putting manager responsible date well that's fine this is needed a invoice so invoice date and payment date so from this you can create a lead time you can see the lead time from the invoice date to payment date an invoice id will be the major and uh, invoice amount will be the major now uh, let me tell you guys what is the dimension what is the measure since we are creating a dimensions and since we are creating measures here what is what should be our understanding that what would be a dimension what would be a measure so uh, from a geometry when we understood the geometry like when we were creating a chart in our school days we in geometry we would have like x axis and y axis this is y axis okay this is x axis step. now suppose i would like i have asked to create a list of marks secured in various subjects so this would be kind of a subject subject 1 subject 2 subject 3 subject 4 5 math mil english uh, science geography etc and these are the marks over here 50 60 70 80 90 100 etc now 
As per the mark secured by you, the graph will be plotted. Suppose if it is 60, this will be plotted like this in math. If it is in MIL, it is 70. Plotted like this. In English, it's 65. In uh, geography, it's 80. Like that, the plotting will be happen. And when you draw your chart, chart could be something you draw like this. So here, what I can understand here, subject is basically a dimension, and mark is a measure. That means the data through which we are grouping the measures that is what we call as a dimension and ultimately what we try to see as an outcome is the measure subject wise mark we want to see so in math how much mark you have secured that means our main focus is to see the measure or a fact measure in you know in ba language also called as a fact this fact or diamond uh, or measure is something which can be aggregated and ultimately we want to see that as output and the output will be segregated or grouped or collected by the field that we call as dimension so various example could be like country wise uh, populations your country is the dimension population is a measure so normally dimensions are character type of data date type of data and measures are numeric type of data okay and measures are not only shown it is it is you know aggregated and then shown dimensions are shown as it is like dimension means con country country names are showing whereas we see the measures measures are showing population then it should be sum of population okay sales it should be count of sales so measures will always be defined in various aggregation function so like sum, uh, count, average, minimum, maximum, etc. Okay. So, uh, since we are creating the dimensions, let us finish up these dimensions here. So, we did have uh, here this order date. This is order date. I will just drag this to see how the data looks like. I hope you would have liked this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Stay connected. Bye bye.